Hello and welcome to this MGO2 PC tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to host without having to configure your router settings as this has been a highly requested video. So let's begin. In the description of the video, I've provided links to these files. Now please open JDK-11. I'm going to guide you through the entire installation process for this. Just press next. Now select where you want the file stored. So I'm just going to press change. I want to store it in my D drive in the programs folder. I'm going to press OK. Now you can see there's my location that it's going to be stored in. I'll just press next. Let that install. And press close. To maximize our chances, right click part mapper and press properties. Just unblock, press apply, OK. This will increase our chance of the application actually working in tandem with our router and our PC. So now just open this. Now, once open, you'll find it should look like this. I've just blacked out some information that's kind of vital not to be shared on the Internet. Now, what you want to do is press connect. So in my case, I know that I've done this successfully. When this says disconnect, I know that this program's connected and it's working properly. So now I just wanted to show you that I currently cannot host. So I'm going to show you from start to finish without cutting this video that I can do this. So I'm just going to log in now. So I'm just going to press X on my keyboard. That we can drag this down here. And then I'm just going to press start game. Click dominant hero, of course, because that's who I am. Free battle. That was quite cringy. Not cutting it, though. As part of my, as part of my promise not to cut. Press create game. As you can see, I get this error saying that I cannot create a game. So now I'm just going to back out completely. Like so back out again so that I'm on the login screen. Now I'm going to show you what to do with this application so that you can host a game. So now you want to press create. Now you want to press, well first you want to type in mjo 2 pc up here. Then you want to press add. Change TCP protocol to UDP. Change this to 5730. Change that to 5730. So we've got external, internal, 5730. Then you just want to press save. Now when you've done that, you want to click mjo 2 pc here and just press use. And you should see it appear at the top here like this. I press update as well. Um, at this point, we can now go into the game and see if our changes have taken it into effect. So I'm just going to press X here. X there. <clears throat> so we should now find that I can host. If not, you won't find this in the final cut, I'm sure. Not that I've cut this video because I really haven't, except for one minor adjustment as my microphone decided to die part way through this. There you go. I can now create a game. See it now works. Just to show you. Now, as I don't know the keyboard controls at all, I'm just going to X off this, but I just want to show you that it hosts. So there you go, I can host. And it's that simple, folks. That's it. You can now host an MGO2 PC. Enjoy. I hope this helps someone. I've been told that you can close this program and it still works. I haven't tested it myself. But as you can see, at the very minimum, you can host, which is what this video is for. Goodbye. Please like and subscribe.